Hello guys and welcome. If you are viewing this video, it's because you have volunteered to help write descriptions for the Army of DLVs, daily live videos, leadership table, and I think even um, some of Brother Enoch's sermons. So um, my name is Giselle Francis and I've been helping write descriptions for a few months now. And we will, well, we decided that it will be good to do videos. So anyone that is coming on board and interested in writing these descriptions, they will have something that they could refer to and that they could assist them in writing these um, descriptions and also helping me write the descriptions as well and, you know, take turns doing so. So today, um, I'm going to be giving you the basic rundown and taking my time with this video because it should be like a quick overview video. Um, so I'll just be going through the basics of how to write the video, um, the description, sorry. And um, as you can see here, there are three parts to write in the descriptions. There's the hook, the story, and the offer. So I'll be going into what each entails, but I could just like, give an overview now. So the hook is basically two to three engaging questions that could capture the audience. Some, I like sometimes you could start off with a specific question and then just make the question a bit broader. So speak to um, persons who might be dealing with that situation individually or specifically, as well as capture a wider audience to get them to want to click and look at the video. The story is just a basic um, a line or two of what, as you could probably say a summary line of what the video is about right and the offer is usually something that um brother enoch offers at the end because they are if you have if you are used to looking at the army of youth videos there's always an offer at the end whether it's to sign up for squads to um order the account book to to um join the direction of of god program or to even have um irresistibly interesting devotions you know we have many different offers at the end and each video will have a specific offer at the end so if you, i'm just gonna make um give you a quick warning if you hear me get a bit silent during um this video presentation is because um i think i i'm not really great at thinking and writing and explain it at the same time. <laughs> so um, don't don't mind if you hear a bit of silence sometimes. So just me thinking through things and seeing how to operate next, right? So so let's um, yes, I think I'm ready to get started. Also, um, I would say I have um, I have this set up like this in particular. The my Word documents and then the video I decide here. I usually do this on um, on my phone. I switch between um, Instagram and my notes on my phone because it's quicker for me. So I'm just gonna say too that just because you have to see me set this up in this particular fashion doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it in the same way. As you go through this, you will find your own way of doing it. What is best for you, what is more efficient for you, and I'm doing it this way for the book, um, mainly for the video presentation. So I don't normally have all this up. Also, um, another side note, I just wrote hook story offer here so that when I go through each section, we will know exactly what we are talking about. So when we write up the description, actually write up the description, we're not going to write hook and then write the hook, actual hook story, then write, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes so let's go so right let's go so the hook is normally taken um i normally get the hook within the first two to three minutes of the video and brother enoch normally presents the hook within the first two to three minutes of the video there most times he might actually provide those engaging questions um, sometimes it might just be one or two. Sometimes you can make a third one. Sometimes there may not be specific questions and you will have to come up with a few um, questions to make it engaging 
as long as you have an idea of the video. Also, the story comes within the first two to three minutes of the video, and you will see that as we go along. So let's be on the offer. Yes, I think I mentioned the offer is at the end of the video. So I will start the video now. Have you ever wondered what your unique talents are? Have you? Okay, so if you picked up on it already, just from what I was saying before, you realize that Brother Enoch just gave a hook. Mind you, sometimes I will hear the hook <laughs> and I will have to just rewind because sometimes not all the words, uh, I don't catch all the words, but I'm sure a lot more persons might be talented in that area, hearing something once and then remembering. So sometimes I need to pull it back a few times just to get an idea of what he said. Not all the time, but I think I'm going to be doing that a lot more since I'm explaining <laughs> and writing at the same time. So all I could remember is, have you ever? So um, let me just oh, let's, let's put this in. Change the font to be a bit smaller. Not in bold. Right. right, so sometimes you hook my start with have have you ever or did you or would you, you know, we are gonna see different things as you go through the different um daily live videos. Are we gonna make I could probably leave it at that size. I'll leave it at that size. So that's that. I'm gonna pull it back and stand that over again. Said, Have you ever wondered what your unique talents are? Have, have you ever wondered? Oh, I ever twice because I started it. <laughs> have you ever wondered? Oh, but. Um, Oh, I wrote it twice. I was like, but this looking spell correctly. <laughs> oh, all right. So have you ever wondered what your unique talents are? All right. I'll put a question mark. Um, normally I will have the emojis. I could put an emoji like, you know, the question, the thinking emoji like, hmm. So I will normally put that. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll probably go show you guys um a few of the the emojis that I use and you could be creative with that too. So this is one question that you could use. Have you ever wondered what your unique talents are? And um, let's see what else he's gonna see. Have you ever thought like, you know, gifts, like what are my gifts? What are my talents? What are the 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 gifts that God has given me? So from this I'm gonna get uh, I probably need to let me make this a bit small. Alright, so yeah, so the font, I'm definitely gonna need to reduce the font. <laughs> oh, this could work too. Right, so have you ever wondered what are the gifts that God has given you? So he, he, sometimes when you um listen to the first two to three minutes, right? Um he doesn't have the Brother Enoch doesn't always have the direct question. Sometimes he may ramble, not in any <laughs> negative way, but ramble a bit. So sometimes you need to pick up the gist of what he's actually trying to say. So like the first question was pretty clear in the engaging question, pretty clear. Then the second one, and it started off and then, you know, I picked up on, well, have you ever wondered what are the gifts that God has given you? Because you, you don't want really want to repeat like the first question because you if you wonder what unique talents what your unique talents are and then another engaging question is oh what are the talents that god has given you all right so i could probably leave it at two but i want to see if i get a third one out of this and it doesn't always have to like i say have you ever all the descriptions will vary so sometimes you'll see do you want to know 
or something like that. It's, it, it's not always have you ever, you know, but as you, as you, um, as you write the descriptions and look at the videos, you realize that it will vary. So just give, just let you new all know that. All right, so let's continue. If this is a question that you've asked, it's a question that I get a lot, seeing as though um, with the Army of Youth, our vision is to help every young person to identify their unique talents and dedicate them to a Lord's service. My mm. Now I'm thinking, did I get something else from there? I could try to make up a third question, but so let's just pull it back again and see. Have you ever wondered what your unique talents are? Have you ever thought like, you know, gifts, like what are my gifts? What are my talents? What are the, the, the gifts that God has given me? If this is a question that you've asked, it's a question that I get a lot, seeing as though um, with the Army of Youth, our vision is to help every young person to... Mm. I guess it too could work for now. Sometimes if he says something else, I could probably pick up, make up a third question, but I'll leave it at two for now. Um, if I think of a third one, I'll probably add it, right? So I'll move on to the story and probably for the, the sake of time too. All right, so I'll move on to the story. So I, may, I will be pulling back this video again. Um, so when I do the story, the story will, I will start off the story by saying, if so, so after you ask the question, have you ever, or did you know, or would you like to learn um, something? And then you, you could start off the story by saying, if so, then I encourage you to watch this video. And that's something I've picked up, um, change your phone color. That is something that I have picked up over the time, and um, in time you might probably come up with something else as well. But this has been been working. Okay. All right. So, if so, then I and if you realize, so I put if so, then I encourage you to watch this video. So another thing to keep in mind is that when I write these descriptions, I write it from the point of view as if Brother Enoch is writing the descriptions. So another thing I try to do as well, probably another tip, I've heard so many of his <laughs> videos, um, listen, watch so many of his videos and hear them speak a lot, that I try to use words most of the time that he might probably use, you know. So that's, I feel like, a good thing to, to keep in mind. Of course, you could still be individualized, but also try to make it sound as if you know something he would say. <laughs> so that's just a that's just a tip. So um, if so, I mean, put the comma. Let me use the grammar and punctuation. If so, then I encourage you to watch this video. No, I put a little emoji well icon of like if you hit in play, video play. I'll show you when I am um, at the end. I'll show you some of the other um, descriptions. Right, so if so, then I encourage you to watch this video and I could put, like, you could even take the story from the title, like six talents that everybody has that will surprise you. So I could, without even listening to the rest, I could probably say, if so, then I encourage you to watch this video where I'll be, show, be sharing with you six talents that everybody has that will surprise you. And that's the story right there. But I'll still... um what he says because sometimes it could be a little different it doesn't have to be exactly like the title but that's also another um tip too sometimes the story comes from the title yeah not all the time but sometimes to identify their unique talents and dedicate them to a lord's service my name is Ian Cleffingwell and today I'm going to be sharing with you six talents that everybody has that will surprise you. You see, the reason why...
Okay, so <laughs> this story definitely could come from the title. Sometimes he sometimes he doesn't always say the title in the video, so that's why I was mentioning to that um not all the time these the you you have to use the title as the story. Sometimes he might word it a bit different in the video. So that's just to kinda like give it a bit of variety. Excuse if you're hearing any background noise. I don't have noise cancelling headphones unfortunately. So yeah, let's continue. So right, if so then I encourage you to watch this video right where I will be sharing with you six. And sometimes I would use like the emojis like when you type in the emojis you could type in the number six and uh, the number six will come up just to make it pop a little bit in the description. So if so, then I would enc encourage you to watch this video where I'll be sharing with you six talents. And I'll probably put this in on caps. Not caps, but the first word, first letter in caps. Six talents. Probably, sometimes you could probably follow how with the title is made to. I think I'll do that. Six times. Everybody, everybody, everybody has. Oh no, everybody has that. That the so is you. Let's see if it even cut copy the style, the format. We don't we don't do the titles. Someone else does the titles before the videos go out, so and you don't have to worry about that. So if so, then I encourage you to watch this video where I will be sharing with you six talents everybody has that will surprise you. Right? So tip trick if you would like, you can <laughs> go ahead and listen to the whole video. Most times I don't have time at that particular time to listen to the whole video. So what I do, another tip trick, the offer is usually at the last two to three minutes of the video. So, but the secret is in developing these six talents and dedicating them to Christ's service. I know one of the honestly going throughout life because in Right, so, the service of so something I've learned, I've learned like when to see he might pull out the account book. Most of the times the offers are for the account book and sometimes the squads. So um, sometimes you could also, if you want to navigate, look to see where he pulls out the book. <laughs> um, and I will show you like he's starting to talk about maybe the account book. So I'm trying to find the exact sweet spot where he's going to make the offer. <laughs> So this is just like to help save time. I think I went too far. Uh, let's see. Using your influence to lead others to Christ. Every man, woman, and child has influence. The question isn't how much do you have, but what are you doing with the influence that you have? Because when we learn to be faithful, to give to him and recognize his ownership and all of these. If that's your desire, I encourage you to, to pray to God and see how can you develop. And in order to help you with that, we put together... Ah, so you see, he said something to develop. Pray to develop. So you could... So in your offer, you could say, start off by saying, also... Ah, I didn't take off the color. <laughs> Let's go back to... It seemed like if it was in black. Okay. Oh, this font doesn't seem as big. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. So when we start in the offer, I'll always start with also. If you would like, and sometimes he uses the word tool, but and I've gotten this 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 video was in December 2020 this is a, a a description that I didn't do because at the time I wasn't writing so sometimes he calls the account book a tool so I guess for this one I would 
probably use that. Um, also, if you like a tool that would help you to develop, sometimes you might try to look for like keywords like that to help you. So most of the times I'll say also. So like the same for this story, sorry if I'm rambling a bit, I'll say if so, then I encourage you to watch this video that's like standard and then you um you change it based on what the story is about. So then the author of most times always starts with also if you would and then if it's dealing with um the account book, if you like a tool, if it's like with squads, if you would like to um Find a group of persons who can support and encourage you. But of course, he will also mention these things at the end. And it's just for you to pick up on the wordings that he might say. And you could create the offer like that. Um, yeah, so let's see. So help you to, de help you to develop. Let's just um, continue. This daily account book, this is called Live Your Calling Daily Account Book. And this is a book that we put together to help you to not just drift through life and allow life to happen to you, but so that you could be intentional about life, that you could dedicate yourself to of how we can begin to identify, to give to him and recognize his ownership in all of these. If that's your desire, I encourage you to, to pray to God and see how can you develop. And in order to help you with that, we put together this daily account book. This All right. So sometimes he may make a few offers at the end, right? He might make offers to like, subscribe. And sometimes the, the offer is not clear cut as you might see it. And if you, if, and I encourage you to look at previous descriptions that were written, sometimes the offer is not always clear cut as you see it there. But it's mainly to get the gist of what it is he's trying to offer. He's trying to offer the account book. And he also tried to make the offer short in the description. So because he was talking about develop and we're talking about the six talents, I would say also if you would like a tool that will help you to develop in the six um in the six talents that you have then you would love our daily account book right also if you like it too i i just i'm just reading back out loud also if you like it too i will help you to develop and help you to develop these six talents Then you would love, sometimes I might put a heart emoji here, love our daily account book. It's pretty simple writing these up. And um, it's just when you, when you continue um, looking at the videos and seeing how um, Seeing how Brother Enoch talks, it will it will become easier, much easier. Right? So I'm just reading this over again. That's just for clarity for me. Also, if you would like it too, that would help you to develop the six talents. Hmm. The six talents for these six talents to help you to develop these six talents, then you will love our daily account book. Then I will Make a space, also something to keep in mind. Make sure that there are spaces in between. So like the questions, make sure that you make a space and not have it like right underneath. So not like that. But I'll show you to at the end, I'll show you a few examples, right? I, right, so for Instagram, if you have access to both Instagram and Facebook, we have to adjust, you have to adjust it. So click the link, click the link below. And this is if you are writing for Facebook, because in Instagram, you can't really attach links at the bottom. 
right? So for Facebook, you'll say click the link below to order to order your copy of the Live Your Calling daily account book. And I've written a few of these, so um, sometimes I don't have to write it over again, All right? And um, if I say click the link below, I'll try to put the hands pointing down, that emoji. So I'll also show you that, right? To order your copy or to order your, that's what I've started doing. You could you could um, say to order your copy. Um, now I just put to order your, and I put in brackets, live your calling daily account book right. and then in make a space now I put like a book emoji at the end as well and account book is together one one word and as I believe it is on the yeah. I think they have it, or is it when you're writing it? But anyway, so click the link below, and I'm just gonna change it to say this is for Instagram. If you do Instagram, click the link in the bio. Right? So, but the the website for the account book is the army of youth forward slash account book. So when you write in it on Facebook, you're just writing the army of youth.com. This forward slash forward, <laughs> forward slash account book. Right, so, and I think that's it. We could also do um, hashtags, probably from based on the keywords. So like you put, could put um, hashtag talent, hashtag surprise. <laughs> um, and you could also put hashtag the army of you, you know, and you could be creative with the hashtags and the emojis um, just to make it a bit more interesting. And yeah, you see, I didn't really go to the end, <laughs> complete end of the, the offer, because once I get a main thing to um to say for the offer, because we can't really fit everything that he might say or explain, but it's just to get a gist of it, just to get the persons to um to go ahead and click. All right, so we have the hook, about two to three engaging questions. We have this story, a brief summary of what the video is about. And we have the offer that is encouraging you to click to either join squads or to purchase an account book or to sign up for a free webinar class. And you'll see many other um, many other offers that the Army of you has. All right, I'm hoping I'm not leaving anything out. So if I'm silent for a bit, I'm just making sure that we have everything. All right, so I think. Uh, mention the short lines, make, make, mention the spaces in between, try not to make them like jumble up so it's like easy to read, easy for persons to access. All right, um, I give you the tips about where to get the hook story and the offer, and um, yeah, I give you a few tips on how to, to write it up. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. <laughs> I don't want to keep this video too long, but yes, I said I will show you guys. Um, it's called Live Your Calling Daily Account Book. Right, I'll show you guys some of the descriptions I wrote before. And you could also do that on your own. Let me see, this was 10 weeks ago. Seven questions. So let me see if this was like a reset one. And I can show you guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you. And hopefully this has the hook story. Right. So this has the hook story. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. 
hair. So have you ever, ooh, I want to choose one that doesn't have have you ever. But anyway, <laughs> have you ever been bombarded with requests and didn't know to design? And look, ooh, the guy actually did mix it up here. Do you also want to lower the stress and complexity? Hmm. Ah, so this just gave me an idea to add to the hook. So have you ever wondered would you like to would you like to discover some, some of the gifts that God has given you? Ah, see that's that's good, that's good. <laughs> All right, so would you like to discover some of the gifts that God has given you? So yay, we got three questions. I was really hoping to give you guys three and I didn't really go through this video. I just started and like, you just go with it because I wanted to make sure that it was authentic. Like if I just saw the video, even though I have had looked at this video before, but I just wanted to be like, I just saw the video and I'm starting from scratch and working my way through how to write this up. So great. So we have two questions here for the hook, right? And you can see it still ties in great with the story. If so, you know, you ask all these questions and if so, then I encourage you to watch this video. <laughs> all right. So you see this one, he has seven, seven questions. So this one says six. You could put the number six. I had the little video emoji normally when I'm writing the account book. So you see, it won't, won't always say two. Sometimes he may use the word system. Also, if you are looking for a system that will help you ask these questions, or whatever, this is for the seven questions video. Seven questions to ask before making your next big, big decision. So, um, yeah, so you click the link below to order your Olivia calling daily account book. Right? So, see, hashtag on your view decision making account book with your calling. So, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, yeah, I really hope this was helpful. And I wish you all the best in um, volunteering and helping out with the Army of Youth. Thank you so much for your time, for your service, and for your dedication. All right, so have a blessed day, guys. And I really hope this would help you in writing your descriptions. Bye.